all right guys what's going on welcome back to another episode so we're gonna be doing something uh pretty crazy over the next four or five days we're gonna be trying to drive 2500 miles down route 66 in under five days this is one of america's oldest road trips um if you guys don't know route 66 it starts off in santa monica california and ends all the way up in chicago illinois there's over 2,500 miles of winding old road. I'm gonna be winding and weaving my way through the United States all the way up until I get back to the beloved Midwest before I return home to Duluth. Join me on this adventure. I'm sure it's gonna be tough, but we'll be on uh, the ride together. It may say end of the trail, but for me, this is the start of the trail. Route 66, it's the road trip we're going on for the next week or so uh 2500 miles is going to be how far i'm driving and uh it's one of the oldest most known road trips uh that i know of all i have to do is get the heck on the road wait 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 <laughs> all right let's go ahead All right, and we're off. We're off, unsafe. All right, now we're safe. All right, so right now I'm in El Pueblo de Los Angeles, which is actually the real place where Route 66 used to end, uh, but the Santa Monica Pier just became the more touristy spot. This is the original site where Native Americans, Africans, and European people established a farming community in 1781. It's a very historic part of LA. Also on the street, there's Calle Oliveira, Oliveira? I don't know if I'm saying that right, Calle Oliveira, which uh, is home to a lot of good food and some markets. Uh, is it Jamaica? Well, how do you say it? Yeah? Yeah. No tequila. No gracias. No. No, thank you. Not a bad way to start this trip. We are now getting our kicks on Route 66. I'm sorry for that. We're on the road. And LA traffic is doing its thing. I don't think we're gonna make it very far today. <laughs> So technically I'm at the first stop of mine on Route 66's historic route uh, at Roy's Motel and Cafe. Reading this sign here, it's actually really interesting. One of the big takeaways is I'm in this town, Amboy, right now, and all of the towns from west to east are all named in alphabetical order. This used to be a really big hub city uh, for the Atlantic and the Pacific Railroad. Yeah, you too. You can see that there's a lot of different old motel buildings right here. I'm assuming that's what they are at least. And they look like they're pretty well kept besides people wanting to throw rocks through the glass. right now so four days to go 2300 miles seems doable right maybe there you can do it i got faith
right, immediately I'm already kind of bummed out because there's a community thrift shop and a museum here that I'm missing out on. But my second stop is the uh, El Grace's Hotel. This is gonna be the uh, last stop for me in California. I realized I missed some stuff because I was driving in the night, but I thought might as well stop here in Needles before I cross into Arizona. My next stop was the Old Trails Bridge in Top Rock, Arizona. You can see that the bridge isn't supported by traditional spans and it can have that arch like that. Arizona, California. Just crossing on over and we're out of CA finally. Well, I've officially made it 400 miles on the, uh, the old Route 66 so far, which by the way, actually, merges with Highway 40. I didn't know this before. I thought like the old road was like still all the way through, but some of it's repaved with the new uh, Interstate 40, which is the road I'm on now. Yeah, I gotta be in Albuquerque by tonight because we got something exciting going on tomorrow morning, but we're, we got a lot of stops to hit along the way. Well, I am in kind of a crunch, but driving through Kingman, there's a, a car show, and a car show on Route 66, man, I know there's gonna be a bunch of classics. I'll take that right over there and they'll All right, sounds good, thank you. Not only is it a car show, but apparently it's a whole ass drag race. Thing to stumble across on Route 66. Yeah, I see this one too, the one all the way up on top, the polar. I don't know, this one's pretty cool. I'll just get this one. All right. Here's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Probably the coolest truck or the coolest car here, in my opinion. An old F 250 Explorer. Dude, this thing's sick. All right, I gotta get back on the road. There is a Route 66 zip line. I'm going on a freaking zip line, I don't even care. How's it going? Right. Yeah, you guys doing the zip line still? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Dude. <laughs> There's Route 66 right there. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty fun. I don't think they had that back in the 1900s. Right now I'm in the town of Williams. Uh, I just went on that little zip line here. But when I was driving by here, I... Uh, saw a shop that kind of caught my eye. This is cars of the mother load. Got a bunch of old vintage cars here. Oh, sweet old military Jeep. It's a cool little store you got here. Thank you. Yeah. The best thing about these? Uh-huh. <laughs> so those are the original owners? The original owners right there. <laughs> Ditha and Virgil. Ditha and Virgil. I was looking at this one, it's pretty awesome. Look at that. How about try to stick that one, see if that one will fit you. I bet she will. Sheesh. I got a, see, I got a big head, man. Mercy, mercy. Yeah, that's the see, fit there, right that's there. That's the one, and that's a good looking head. I like that one. Yeah. What do you guys think? I like it. Oh, yeah. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? I'm Buck. Buck? And this yeah. is, these are what kind of hats again? Uh, these are bucked up hats. Bucked up hats. Bucked up hats. You guys see any hats you like here? We can ship them. 
too. Call that number right there. I need a hole in my hat, not my head. And this gentleman's gonna do it for me right over here. We're gonna go to the mine shaft. <laughs> All right. Follow me. You've seen it on Route 66 here at Cars of the Mother Road. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. I love it. That's perfect. Heard nothing. We saw nothing. There we go. That is the perfect spot right there, buddy. Now we're matching. Yeah, perfect. there we go. <laughs> Yeehaw. Jesse James is in town, boy. All right, here's something crazy too, guys. This is a military grade Humvee. I won't say too much without giving it away, but I may or may not have something similar coming to Minnesota. Did I just get an accent? I feel like I just got an accent here with this hat. This is the Twin Arrows. It's an old famous trading post from back in the day, which maybe, maybe is just code for gas station. I'm bummed I'm seeing this at night, but it's the Wigwam Hotel, which has all these cool, like, teepee places you can stay in. Look at all these old cars. Look at this truck. Dude, is this petrified wood? Are you serious? Wow. Are you kidding me? It's all agatized. Oh, what is this? No way. There's no way. <laughs> it is, dude. This is literally my bug but the actual version this is crazy are you serious right now oh so sick wow it's the only other bug camper i've ever seen in my life it would be kind of fun to get a hotel here but i gotta keep moving next stop Albuquerque. All right, 55 degrees outside, but I made it to Albuquerque. It's gonna be an early morning. All right, so this morning I'm in the middle of a field in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'm about to go up for the first time in a hot air balloon. I don't know whether to be excited or really nervous. in a hot air balloon was kind of route 60 60 but it was pretty freaking awesome but there is a lot of cool things to see in albuquerque in relation to route 66 like a lot of cool things actually so before i head out of town here let's go find them so we're at the musical highway just north on route 66 of albuquerque new mexico let's see if we can hear the musical noises that the road produces I was expecting like it at least to be louder. All right, well here I am at stop number two in New Mexico. This is the Route 66 Monument. 
Apparently it's pretty famous for its Route 66 -ness. It's located here in the city of Tucum Tucum Cari. Tucum Cari. Alright, we're leaving. That's how that's our stats so far. Somehow I've done 30 hours behind the wheel and gotten only a thousand miles, but I don't think that's that can't be right. Alright, our next stop on Route 66 here is probably one of the more popular places. And that spot would be Cadillac Ranch. It's basically just a bunch of Cadillacs shoved in the ground. You might be asking yourself why. Uh, there's really no reason why. There was just a group of hippies called the Ant Farm uh, from San Francisco that came out here and just wanted to put a bunch of cars in the ground. So it's been a pretty big hot spot on Route 66. Uh, I believe it started off not being able to be spray painted on, but after people sneaking some spray paint cans out here, they kind of fully adapted the whole graffiti it up type type beat. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're taking off. All right, so man. Thank you very much. All right, well, Amarillo, Texas, Cadillac Ranch. There's just a bunch of cars chilling in the ground, and our tag lives on. We will uh, forever be a, a part of this, a part of this place. So you might be like, Matt, didn't you just stop here? But no, this is the, uh, this is the same thing, but with, with Volkswagen bugs. All right, so my last stop of the day is Lucille's historic highway gas stop. It's pretty noisy over here. There's a big freeway right there, but this was the first gas station to have like a overdrive, they call it, uh, design. So you used to be able to pull right through here and fill up with gas. That's my first stop in Oklahoma. 1,300 miles so far. We're doing it. I hope you're having a good day today. You. We're on the road again. Hello. Hello. Hey. Me just screaming my lungs out in the middle of Tulsa. So that little place was called the center of the universe, and the statue right here is uh, an, it's called the artificial cloud. Apparently, there was supposed to be like an echo chamber thing happening. I didn't hear anything, did you? Besides a, the sound of a small child screaming. Little update on the mileage: fifteen hundred miles and. 10.9 mpg so take me down to oklahoma city where the route 66 is long and the scenery is i don't know about y'all but i'm getting hungry I'm overwhelmed. There's so much good looking food. Could I try your po' boy wrap? That's good. Are you? Yes. Yeah. You can. Hell yeah. Can I put your po' boy wrap? Yeah, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Here we are at Mother Road Market. Route 66 used to be called the Mother Road, and this place is like a it's a market style dining area where you can 
grab food and mix and match, and they have a lot of cool different things. Look at this thing. It's got fried shrimp, onion, pickles, tomato, lettuce. That's pretty good. Sorry. Oh, you're good. So this is their gogi beef fries. It has pear-infused beef in it, amongst some other toppings that you'd normally find in Korean barbecue. Whoa. Okay. I might have ordered too much food. Ooh, mommy. These things are legit. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, our next stop today is the Whale of Katsula, Oklahoma. All right, so this giant whale sculpture that you might have seen in a couple movies, I think I definitely have, uh, was built by a zoologist named Hugh S. Davis. And he built this thing for his grandchildren because he's a family man and he wanted them to enjoy some swimming days at this pond. But this thing is, it's funny. All right, 711 miles left to go. Oh. Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park, everybody. There's where we are. There's where we're going. The Highway Cafe. Let's give her a go. Hi. All right, sounds good. Mater. If you guys don't know, the Cars movie was uh, was based on Route 66. There's a lot of Route 66-ness on it. If you guys want to find this yourself, we're located in Jelena, Kansas. Roughly 1,800 miles into our uh, our adventure. ka -chow! All right, let's get out of here. Bye, Mater. See you, bud. We've made it to Joplin, Missouri on Route 66. Let's hope we don't pop a tire. <laughs> you ever seen anybody do that before? I didn't know if it was a good idea or not, but I thought might as well ask for forgiveness and not for permission. Have a good one, guys. Okay. It's getting cold. It's like 40 degrees probably right now. Rip tomorrow. I don't know if I'm ready for Minnesota. <laughs> Not gonna lie. About well, 1,800 miles on the odometer this morning. So that means 700 left. First things first, I gotta get my eyes in, and then, uh... oh, yeah, a lot of driving today. Let's get. My next big stop is in St. Louis, dude. I'm a. I have to get on my butt. Like I gotta get going here.
Morning. Morning. How are you doing? Hi. Do you have a, like any pins or anything for sale for the munger? Yeah, like a little tiny like enamel pin or something. I've been collecting them. Oh, perfect. How much is it? Five. Five bucks. It's a pretty sweet pin. So you've been here for 75 years, it says? The motel. Yeah, the motel. I've been here 50. 50? Do I look that old? No, you don't look a day over 40. <laughs> Oh, gee, thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I find out about the history about this place? Are you the person to talk to? I've been here a long time. Yeah? Yeah. What do you want to know? Well, I don't know. I mean... You go on east, I presume? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Second World War is coming on. Mm -hmm. So that's the first, what see, this place looked like originally. See, there's the restaurant, and yeah. there's the house. Lots of pins on there. Did you get all those along the route? No. Nope. There's, yeah, there's yours. <laughs> now, this is my favorite. Where'd you get that? Now, what is that? Oh. Okay, Akron, Ohio, 693 miles from here. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> so, where are you going now? Um, Right now, I'm heading to St. Louis. All right. You got 165 miles to go. All right, now give me Chicago. Where's... Chicago is 456. I got that today, don't you think? I think so. Yeah, I can do it. Alrighty. How do I say your name? Ramona? Ramona. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. You've okay. been so sweet. Bye. Have a good day. That was so nice. I don't really have too many pins to show, but the ones that I do have, I've got good memories from them. Some of the places I stopped didn't have pins, so. The Devil's Elbow, everybody. This is the Devil's Elbow, I'm pretty sure. Okay. All right, we saw it. Bye. Too many people talked about that for me not to stop, though. All right, I think that's probably going to be one of our last stops for a while. I got to I gotta get home today. Like, I got to get back. To I got to finish this thing today. We're finishing this dang road trip, man. <laughs> The homie Lewis and Clark and the St. Louis Arch. It's actually the Arch's birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, Arch. This is the landmark that marks that you just got into Missouri when you're traveling westward on Route 66. Thing's huge. There's the first historic Route 66 sign I've seen here near Chicago. Now we just gotta find the uh, little pull offs and follow that little road to the end of our journey. Two hundred and twelve gallons of fuel, 2,300 miles. We're finally able to say we completed Route 66. Santa Monica to Chicago in five days. Despite my bed getting soaked with rain and just <laughs> check engine lights, shortages of showers. We managed to make it. We did it. Now, I would definitely recommend taking a little longer than five days to go down the route. By no means did I get to stop at every single place on the way down, but the places that I did stop we got to make some wonderful memories. So thank you for tuning into this episode. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.